Hey everybody, it's Vivian. I love being close to the outdoors here because I hear all the little birds chirping. And just a moment ago, I was looking up at the little wire there and a little bird came in to play. And um, yesterday's theme song, we'll get to these two little birdies in a second. Yesterday's theme song for me, I didn't say it, was uh, Let Your Soul Be Your Pilot. And the other day I also was thinking about um, Bob Marley's song you know, three little birds. And today I'm the third little bird, or it could have been that raucous blue jay that was in my backyard today while I was putting dirt in the raised beds. I actually stopped what I was doing. Hey, Alan, uh, because it was making so much noise. I thought it was like a human. So maybe the third little birdie can be that blue jay that I saw today. So, um, you know, I I'm a gregarious person. That is not the word of the day today. I'm a gregarious person, um, but I also super enjoy my alone time because I feel like I'm ultra productive in um, alone time. But more recently, um, I'm really enjoying collaborations, especially um, in the art world when I explore creativity with others. Um, so I'm missing a little bit of that. Um, and, you know, I think I'm going live online because I feel like I can be gregarious this way, maybe. And your interaction is like a huge part of it. Like, I love the interactivity of people watching and saying things or asking questions. And then all the comments that follow up afterwards, too. That's a huge part of it. So um, I did want to follow up from yesterday, though. All that potty talk. I think the word that I was looking for, other than uh, the words that I did use about real and raw, was vulnerable. Hey, Tracy. And um, the vulnerability, you know, when we are vulnerable, we get to know more about ourselves and others more quickly. And, you know, so like I was saying, I go live because I'm a people person and this is my proffering. Oh, the word of the day comes early. <laughs> so um, I go live because I hold myself out there for someone for acceptance or not. Either way, this is my proffering word of the day. And, you know, a few friends reached out personally saying how much they enjoy my videos. So I'll do them for as long as I can. And all the little hearts and likes are really awesome and welcome too. Um, but again, I really do love the interactivity and this little odd community that we're building and that we're making and that we're participating in. And thank you so much, you know. So, um, and in theme, about don't worry, be happy, the Bob Marley song. Don't worry about being vulnerable and sharing yourself with others. This is real. That's what is real and that's what builds connection between people and trust. When people can see all sides of you and you can share the good and the bad and the uncomfortable and the indifference and the struggles that you're going through. And a lot of you might be feeling really vulnerable right now and that's a way that you can connect with people. So find yourself and your center every day. And a couple of questions I have for you that you can ask yourself every day might help. And I'm going to give a shout out to my friend Meredith, who so forwarded these to me that might really help. So ask yourself every day, daily quarantine questions. Who am I checking in on or connecting with today? What expectations of normal am I letting go of today? Jot your answers down. Maybe some stuff's coming up, right? How am I getting outside today? How am I moving my body today? How am I expressing my creativity today? What type of self-care am I practicing today? Can you see those? And what am I grateful for today? I have this in a little screenshot. If you guys want it, just direct message me and I'll send it to you. So those are my quarantine, and I started typing in the description of this video. I started right typing in questions, and I'm like, oh, quarantine queen, and it turned into queen. So I was like, yeah, like be the quarantine queen and king, and these can be your quarantine questions. So, um, you know, I actually think I'm going to miss doing these live videos when things get back to normal, because this is a one way for me to express my creativity. And, you know, at the end of all this, maybe I'll make a video that says, um, I went live for 30 days during quarantine or self-isolation and here's what happened. You know, I'm sure it won't be as popular as the, uh, I drank celery juice for seven days and this is what happened. Or I had sex with my partner every day for a year and this is what happened, but I'll keep trying. <laughs> I'll keep trying. This is my own social experiment and, uh, it includes you and I, I love that. So, um, 
Stay curious, my friends. Be kind and express gratitude as I will to you now. Thank you for watching.